god. <laughs> You're not in it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. For the vlog. Anything for the vlog. Defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. <laughs> Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Heard acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. <laughs> As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. Oh shit. <laughs> We, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as the sword, inflict inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Celebrate <laughs> good morning, my good people. So, I'm on my way to work. As we can tell, oh, I don't know if you can tell it now, but I am on my way to work. I work from nine to four. It's okay. I do, I do like it, not gonna lie. I'm just still getting used to like the getting up early portion. I've been doing this for two weeks, but like, I, I, I don't know, Ugh, my seatbelt is hurting me. But we're doing good. I, today's a more of a rougher day because I work from my eight to four and I babysit from five to whatever time. So you get to see me babysit my little mini me. And then, um, yeah, so. That's all I really got for today. Um, when this gets posted, it'll, it would have been a month since the Olivia Rodrigo concert. So like, I've had him post a vlog like right on May 4th, but May 4th was the day of the concert. And it's gotta be June 4th, it's June 2nd, I think today. So happy Pride Month to all my favorites out there. Um, so I have that to do. I wrote Miss Olivia a letter and I just still got out of my mind. But that's fine. I wish, I don't know why I didn't do this because I'm always the type of person to do this, is to like make copies of things. I didn't make a copy of my stupid letter because I was so naive thinking that you could actually get it from a girl from Maryland. That didn't happen, but it's fine. So if anybody sees a letter that's purple envelope, it says Miss Olivia on the back and then my entire address on the back. So, <laughs> if anybody sees that, please return it to me. You would have thought that the people from the Anthem would have returned the letter to my to me because my address is on it, but no, it's fine. Um, okay, that's all I have for this morning because I don't know what I'm doing today, so there you go. I'll see you later. Hello, my good people. I'm now at my destination to babysit. Um, it's currently raining and I don't have an umbrella already, which is... The hoodie portion is so abnormal for me because I always wear have a hoodie with me. But I have this and that has no way, but it's okay. Um, so what I wanted to say earlier, which is I forgot was, I don't, I think I might've mentioned, I don't remember. Yesterday was Mr. Tom Holland's birthday. So like the, I'm not crazy. Like the lovely Tom Holland stan that I am, I was looking at every minute of every hour for his Miss Zendaya to post, and she did. And it was, I think it was happiest of birthdays to the person who makes me the happiest. And like that last line, person who makes me the happiest, like, oh, hello? So, Riley Morgan and I, who I work with, we were, well, I was freaking out. So then I like converted that to them. But like, we were at lunch and when I found out, so my friend Rachel texted me, I'll put up the screenshot of our text, but she's like, Brooke, and I'm like, Rachel. Took me a minute to click what was going on, which is so unlike me, because I beat the internet, obviously. And Rachel was like, I was like, if you're texting me about what I think you're texting me about, 
the day I posted. And lo and behold, she did! And we were, me and Rachel, like, through the phone, I can hear her, like, through the text. And I just knew that we were going to be, like, head over heels for what was being posted. So I looked, and God bless the candid black and white. The It was so genuine. The love is there. Like, homegirl is in love with our short king, Mr. Tom Holland. Ugh. God. I love their height difference. I love that it, they're interracial. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, that is what society needs today. That is what society needs as interracial couples. More of them. So, I'm all for it. I've been for it since day one. <sighs> now I can't wait. We have two months until her birthday. So God help me again. What are you doing? Can you not hurt yourself for me? Hello. Hi. What are you doing? I assure you, Wednesday, I am your friend now and always. We need a push. Okay. Silo, watch out. Want to push? Pretty wind up. One more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Hold on, let me move your dog. Ready? There you go. To give me a popsicle. I do not have to give you a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I know this. Is, oh, it, is it on the waterproof? No, but it's okay. Here, extend your arm out. Good. There you go. There you go. Okay, so this is little Brooke, Stop. our babysitter. And we're walking their dog. So, there you go. Look at you, are you a professional vlogger? So, okay, you just lead the way and I'll follow. Say hi. And yeah, you and your Crocs. And it's raining. Oh, and you lost your Croc. You gotta put them bad boys in sport mode. There you go. Okay. I can tell. I'm gonna make my life the, my biggest jump ever. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm. <laughs> I got my pants. 